Hello and welcome to the devotion for Tuesday, July the 15th, entitled Prayers All Around. Now, when I say prayers all around, I'm actually referring to 1 Timothy 2, 1, where Paul speaks to Timothy and says this. He goes, I urge you then, first of all, that requests and prayers and intercession and thanksgiving be made for everyone. And then he talks about for governors, for religious leaders, for, uh, you know, every person that you, you need to be praying for every person. Now, this goes back to what we talked about Sunday morning with pray continually. But there's two things that are really powerful about that. When I pray for someone, I focus what is my heart? What is God's purpose? It helps me to really synergize on what is important about this relationship. What am I looking for from this relationship? I have found when I pray for people, it enhances my love for them. It enhances my uh, concern for them, my awareness of what's going on in their life. There's something about prayer that focuses us. The second thing, prayer is one of the greatest encouragement tools that we will ever have. You know, it's interesting. I run into people all the time that uh, when they uh, share a little bit about their life, if I were to say, well, let me share with you what Scripture says, they'd roll their eyes around, you know. Or if I go, you know, we ought to come by and speak, uh, you know, and just have an opportunity to sit down and talk about that at some point. Again, they're like, well, you know, I'm real busy. I mean, you know. The second that I say to someone, I know that's heavy. Could I pray for you about that? Almost 99% of the people I say that go, sure, I would appreciate that. And then I take their hand and I say the same things that I probably would have said if we had talked about it. I share about what God's heart is, what the scriptures say. I, I just pray and, and instantly, instead of their eyes rolling back in their head or going, you know, I'm really busy, they look at me and go, thank you, I really appreciate that. How encouraging that someone cares enough to pray. That's the reason I believe Paul looked at Timothy and said, I want you to be praying for everyone because it focuses you. It heightens your awareness of what's going on. It helps you to value that relationship. And it is one of the most encouraging things you can do for another person to let them know you're praying for them. I have people frequently who tell me, we pray for you every morning. It's just part of our ritual. Or when the kids go to bed at night, you know, we pray for grandma and grandpa, but we also pray for our pastor. And and that ministers to me, to know that people care, that they're praying for our church, that they're praying for me as a leader. It's, it's wonderfully encouraging. It's the reason we as a staff pray every Tuesday, I mean, uh, every Thursday morning. And we pray over the church. We pray for people that we know are hurting. We pray for every person that the Lord brings to our mind because we also believe that the effectual fervent prayers of righteous men and women are powerful and they are effective. So, prayers all around. Pray for everyone. It's power. Father, even as we pray now, Lord, for every person listening to this, that you would give them a renewed sense of what prayer does. It, uh, it, it is an encourager. It is something that focuses us. It's something that blesses. Lord, let prayer be in our life with everyone we know and love. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, pray for some folks, and I'll see you tomorrow.